Alright, alright, I know where this is going now. Aries, hello darling. Uh, so I have your tarot cards here, and you are going through some chaos right now. I'm just gonna get right into this, my friend, right? You're in this, you're having a tower moment, whether it's a specific facet of your life, alright? Uh, or just in general, you're dealing with a lot of chaos right now, Aries. And even when I was shuffling your tarot cards right before I, I turned on the video, uh, I was getting this shown like a mirror. So it's almost as if you've been coming like face to face with your shadow, face to face with your insecurities face to face with the problems that you already knew that you needed to take care of but for whatever the reason was it's always been uh, uh been put off i feel like you are now having this tower moment and it's finally waking you up aries and i'm not saying darling that you weren't uh enlightened beforehand or anything in that manner here but this tower moment has really taught you to um start following in a new direction and i know you've been feeling called you there's your spiritual team is really putting out as many signs as possible right now for you areas of where they're trying to really realign your path uh to be introduced to new folks when i see this three cups energy uh uh representing the overall energy for your general uh direction right now aries this is like a sign of like your soul tribe coming in some you might call it like a soulmate twin flame delay i'm not into labeling uh here but the fact of the matter is, Aries, I feel like uh, duty, like the thing I'm hearing right now is like duty is calling uh, for you, Aries, and it's time for you to go into this new direction now that you've had this tower moment in your life, rather than trying to dig through the rubble, uh, Aries, to figure out like what went wrong, what caused this, da 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 da, right? Instead of trying to do damage control with the, uh, with the situation in your life, your spiritual team is really asking for you, Aries, to just let it go, release yourself from it, and go into this new direction direction here because in this new direction in your career as well as just your social life it's all connected Aries it's all connected um your spiritual you'll you'll run into specific people and have uh, I don't know there's a sense of like you're missing an appointment that your spiritual team has set for you to meet certain people to do certain things to reach certain accolades here Aries and so I feel like this tower moment really has woken you up to this. And when I see this high priestess energy coming in afterwards for you, Aries, this leads me to believe of where I want you to trust your intuition because where your intuition is trying to guide you to, Aries, it's trying to guide you to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, what does the Ten of Pentacles represent? The Ten of Pentacles represents Aries uh financial abundance first and foremost ten of pentacles represents stability but also if you look at like the rider weight tarot illustration of it or even a lot of other tarot illust tarot illustrations girl i can't speak uh illustrations of the ten of pentacles it represents like a thanksgiving people of all walks of life coming for a meal and so where you may not be in like right now in your life aries you probably are feeling the very opposite of the ten of pentacles but where your intuition is trying to guide you to after this tower moment is one away from it so stop trying to fight stop trying to dig through the rubble do damage control trying to fix the situation let that tower moment finally fall there's no more band-aids you can put on it let that fall so your spiritual team can guide you through your intuition aries to this three of cups three of cups by definition represents new people coming into your, like friendships new connections but it also just represents victory you know win all right and so your next win is just around the corner is what i when i look at these cards and that's what i get and so before i continue on in this tarot reading let me introduce myself aries howdy darling my name is simply velka I am here just to give you a tarot reading this week. I have been reading tarot cards for over 12 years. All right. And what makes my tarot readings a little bit different than others as well? Yes, I'll talk about the good things you're manifesting, Aries. I'm also trying to have you leave my tarot reading with a sense of direction and guidance. It's all fun and dandy to hear the positive things, but how do you go from point A to point B? That's where I'm here to try to help you with that. So let's get some clarity in regards to this here. Page of Swords uh, coming in for you, Aries. All right. So this is already letting me know this is like in your head. There's, there's this theme when your tarot cards here because i have your general your social life as well as your career here there's a similar theme for you aries of where you already have a sense of idea of like what what the next step is for you i feel like it's harder for you to accept this next step for you because this next step where you have your mind on like a specific thing that you want to do uh, what you want to develop 
it's completely away from what you've had to abandon. It's having to give up on things that just no, no longer serving you. So it's like, uh, it's like seeing that having that tower moment happen with the relationship and you knew that tower moment was going to be happening. You could see the signs distancing, arguing more often, right? Instead of fighting for that situation to come into fruition or to fix that, start going into new directions here. All right, with that page of swords, start finally applying what's already been instilled in your brain. Like this isn't a message Aries are telling you, it's just like, oh, pay attention to the signs and see where you need to go. Like, you know, this is already in your head, my friend. You just need to be willing to admit that this is the next chapter and that you are intuitive towards the next chapter of your life. It might feel weird to you, Aries, of where you have such a clear idea of like what you could be doing. And maybe it's on some level because of the fact that of let's take a look here two of wands yeah this next direction for you this next chapter for you comes from like truly how i see your success story going down or how i see your life progressing here aries it's in response to you going through some type of pain you start going to, like you start paying attention to your future what you want to feed for your future because the two of wands represents uh look paying attention to the long term all right and then that page of swords all right and so where your chapter is now all right where i see the aries that are most aligned with your path right now is the aries that are responding after a hurtful situation that has happened with the tower moment three of swords in response of that you are reallocating where you're putting your energy where you're investing your future for the long term um and changing things up all right and so if you feel like that's your story here aries all right give yourself some grace well yes you're going through this chaos it's an uncomfortable feeling you're exactly where you need to be this is perfect for you the aries that is hurt is the aries that's going to transmute that pain and to be something so successful for them all right and so let's now get into your relationships here aries or whatever this relationship is that i've tuned into could be romantic platonic uh you know work related family it's not my business right and so the relationship i see here aries you have the seven and the six of cups and then the ace of swords coming in and then the overall energy is the four of wands all right and so this is really drilling into this message here aries of the seven of swords to me seven of swords seven of cups with this ace of swords to me aries this is a direct sign of where it's not necessarily it's not necessarily like aries making the right choice and like what you put energy into it's just making the official choice of going into a new path whatever that might shape up to be whether you want to change careers whether you want to move to a new place you know whatever it is your spiritual team is sitting there uh aries and they're just like hey just take the action just do it take your mind right page of swords and make it an ace of swords where you go forward with what's going on internally for you and what's going on internally for you is directing you to a path that's going to get you aligned with someone from your soul tribe a soulmate twin like, again all right and you can have more than just romantic soulmates by the way i feel like a lot of people just hear soulmate and assume like it's romance it's not always the case um but yeah ultimately you're long overdue aries to get into connection with someone else in your soul tribe here i personally very firmly believe aries that we have certain people that are in our lives that are called like our soul tribe our soulmates and all that and they're not there just to give us the most romantic or perfect type of relationships i believe that spiritual relation like people that we have a spiritual alignment with are put into our life to develop us or help us get to a specific stage of our life if anything they're there for our breakthrough not really to make us comfortable right and that's what i see is happening for you aries is that the next relationship that's going to be deep it's gonna have like that nostalgic feeling when you connect to them how you connect to them is going into that new path that we are talking about and they're going to help uh help you move the torch or help take the baton with you to a certain chap uh, period of your life here here is does that make sense like i truly just believe the next person that your your spiritual team is trying to get you in connection with is really going to be playing such a pivotal role in how things really just continue going forward for you uh energetically and just what you end up manifesting uh this year aries all right and speaking of manifesting darling let's just get right into uh your career your hobbies your earthly desires uh aries and so the overall energy is the chariot 
all right so fast forward momentum four of cups the four of cups Aries represents not you're not seeing like what your spiritual team is presenting to you so let me just get a different tarot deck so i can show you the illustration behind it because it is so powerful uh aries of the four of cups because it's like you're sitting under a tree and so frustrated with your current situation that you don't see the cup your spiritual team is trying to hand to you and so i think it's so important for you to see this normally wouldn't bother going through all this effort because i know most people probably wouldn't care aries but I feel like once you wake up to the realization of where your spiritual team is, what your spiritual team is trying to hand to you, you're going to just have such a big aha moment, Aries. And really, that's what gets that chariot card really moving very quickly for you. All right. So here's the four of cups, my friend. All right. This is who you currently are. All right. Girl focus. All right. This, your arms crossed, eyes closed, right? Because your empty current situation, three cups where they're empty. So there's some to your life in general, or just like because of the stresses of life, you're not able to see this spiritual form. You know, your spirit guide hands you this cup, right? Cups can represent opportunities, can also represent people and emotions, right? And so the sooner that you have that aha moment where you're just like, oh, wait, you know, I just need to open my eyes and see what's what my spiritual team is trying to present right in front of me that's been there right all along right and then you get that chariot energy right and so that's why i feel so passionately about the four of cups um the illustration behind this one like some tarot decks their illustrations are just kind of there for aesthetic and that's kind of what this deck is, is or this deck the circle tarot deck is kind of for aesthetic um aries and so I, it just was really important for me to show that uh the illustration of that so hopefully that um, that really uh clicked for somebody because once you realize that eight four cup situation then easy sailing darling all right because nine of pentacles in the uh dawn of pentacles as well all right and so this is a direct message here where it's just like very strong for self-employment very strong for trying to get something off of the ground a hobby of yours off the ground maybe you want to do social media maybe you want to start writing maybe you know your own personal endeavors here um aries like something that is by your own uh playing by your own rules that's how you get to that next stage that's how you are able to create more abundance in your life and really get to a place of financial um stability that you've been craving all along darling all right just right now you're not able to see what your spiritual team is trying to hand to you because of that tower moment of of that chaos all right and so don't take what you're going through right now as a sign that uh you're going you're about to be hitting rock bottom on the contrary like you're blessings right around the corner that's really what i feel for you and so this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you aries hopefully something in here resonated if you're looking for further clarity in your life you can go uh down below to my website it's pinned in the comments simply .com, where you can book a one-on-one -on -one private tarot reading with me until next time though aries i love you so much darling bye